Hey folks, I just wanted to uh, take some time to show you our new diagnostic tool, this uh, CBCT imaging that we have. This is going to be the new gold standard in orthodontics. It, it, it's currently not quite the standard, but I'm going to show you a few features that um, are just unbelievable. And I was trained like this in residency, and most orthodontists nowadays are. And when you have a 3D image, you can just get so much more detail out of things. I mean, there's no guessing involved, okay? And when we're talking about growth and development, there's just so much more that we can see here, okay? Um, now, this is the entire rendering volume, um, volume rendering of a, one of our patients that came in, okay? And you can see all these teeth, and you can switch up the, the contrast, and you can see it in detail. Um, you can put the bone back on. You can um, see just the teeth. I mean, you can even put the soft tissue back on. Whoop, that's a little hazy. Let's see. I mean, you can kind of make out like the, the image of the, of the patient. It's, it's incredible, really. But we're going to go here with the teeth, and we're going to kind of check out a few things and what I usually look at um, during a consultation. So this is usually up on the screen because I like to get kind of a general overview of where everything's at, okay? Um, traditionally, what you would see is this pan. See how it, a pan, it's a flat image. It's a 2D image that shows everything that we need to see. Now, for instance, a lot of times here, where can you see where my mouse is? You can see that there is a um, overlap of this canine to this lateral incisor, okay? And we can't always quite see how close that overlap is, okay? So we're always guessing. We're always playing this guessing game. We're, we're trying to identify if there's any problems with the jaw joints here and here. But guess what? I'm going to show you a few things where we don't have to guess anymore. I can tell you, well, that's that's dynamic, but I can tell you with a lot more certainty if, there, if and where there are problems, okay? Same thing with the cephalometric radiograph. Typically, or traditionally, we're looking at the cephalometric radiograph and we're determining the upper, the relationship of the upper jaw to the lower jaw here, okay? Now this isn't oriented. So we can see the jaw joints and we can get those jaw joints and we can orient this such that it is on the, the widest part here, okay? And just by orienting that, we can get a good view of these jaw joints and they should be nice and rounded and well defined. You see how that that's nice and rounded like that? Same thing on this side. It's nice and rounded and well defined. Okay, it's somewhat central in the fossa there. Here, again, this is from the sagittal view. We can see that they're nice and rounded here. Okay, and that they're fairly centered in this fossa where they should be. If they were down here, that would tell me the patient is opening or he doesn't have a um, a jaw joint that meets centric relation with intercuspation. That's a way more than we want to get into here. But look at this jaw joint looks like it shifted down a little bit further down the eminence. So he might have a shift in his bite there. Okay, that's what that's telling me. Um, again, I'm just kind of showing you how cool this is. I won't get into too much, too many more details. But again, this is the one I really like here too, as we can see the cross section is we can kind of scroll through from front to back. And as we see the teeth come up here, these are the molars. We can determine, is the width of this bone wider than the width of this bone? A lot of times that's what we want to see when we're, we're trying to decide if expansion is needed because the teeth can tip in and tip out. So just because there's not a crossbite doesn't mean that expansion isn't needed, right? And so again, this is what we're looking at. Again, remember we were concerned about that canine being close to that root there? So we can get a better idea if that is in the safe zone or not, okay? Now let's see it from another view. Let's see it from this view. I wanna see it scrolling through. Here's the root tip. Ooh, you can see that big follicle. Yeah, that, that's a little worrisome here. So there's the canine, it's pretty darn close. You can see that canine and the root tip there. So that does worry me. And you can see that big follicle on that side too. So we're probably going to recommend some sort of treatment and it might be just as simple as getting the primary canines out so that those teeth can um, erupt away from the lateral incisors, okay? So anyways, I just want to give you a quick introduction to our new x-ray machine. I'll post a few cases now and then that was just kind of the the, the basic run through of what we're capable of doing now. So um, I look forward to seeing you all back after this quarantine. Um, get a hold of me. I'm bored. If you got questions, I'd be happy to answer.